Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. Today I'm going to show you a new feature in Lightburn version 1.6 that it seems many people don't know about, or at least I haven't heard it talked about. I recently did a video on disaster recovery, and that was pretty popular and apparently helped out a lot of people. And this video today is going to be very similar, but not the same. There is a new feature in Lightburn version 1.6 called Bundles. And I don't think I've heard many people talk about it yet, or I know I haven't heard anyone talk about it. But probably the number one thing that I see in the user groups and the online forums, people asking for help, is how do I transfer files and settings from my computer in the shop to my computer at home or in the office so I can continue to work in the same environment in Lightburn. Lightburn has made this very, very easy with a new feature in 1.6 called Bundles. So let's jump over into the software re real quick and let me show you how you can clone the software in your shop to the software in your home or office in three clicks. Let's go. Okay, so here I am in Lightburn version 1.6, as you can see up here. And this new feature is under the File menu. Here's click number one, File. And under Bundles, which is a new option in the File menu, you'll see Export and Import Bundle. We're going to export a bundle here. Click number two. And now you see a new dialog window that you haven't seen before. So in here, under Application, it's going to save all of your settings. It's going to save all of your hotkeys if you've created any new hotkeys. If not, it'll save the old ones. And Image Presets. And then in the second section, under Devices, it's going to save all of the lasers that you've added to, to Lightburn. Below that, all of the material libraries that you have. And even further down, all of your art libraries that you have on your computer. So here comes the next click, export. <laughs> and now all I have to do, I have plugged in an SSD drive right here. And this is where I save all of them, all of the bundles that I've got. So I've got several computers here in the shop. And the one that I'm working on here today is Studio One. I suggest that you give it a good name so that you can distinguish if you have more than one computer like I do give it a good name like that and that'll automatically fill it in down here if you already have it and you're doing another uh, export then just click save over here now when you click save well for me it's gonna say it already exists I'm just gonna say yes and now it's gonna export all of these settings and there we go. That's finished. Now you, it is important you wait for this window to close. And that could take a little while, up to about 30 seconds or so, depending on how many files that you've got. Instead of using the SSD drive, I'm using a USB SSD. I can now unplug it. You can use a flash drive. And now bring that flash drive into your home or office. And here you'll see if you open it on your home computer, you'll see that you've I've got the same files in here. And all I'm going to do to restore this is just click on this, drag it, and drop it onto the workplace. Just like that. And now, these will be uh, grayed out up here if you have the same settings already on your computer, which I obviously do, transferring them to a new computer you wouldn't these would be lit up and these are the devices you can choose which ones you want to import here and all of your material settings your lightburn libraries and your lightburn art libraries are also in here the only thing you have to do now is click import and it's done i'm just going to click cancel to this because i've already got all of this done there is a second way that you can do this. You can come over here to the file menu and back to bundles and import that bundle instead. 
And when we do it that way, I would have to find the uh, drive. It's usually going to be a flash drive. And then just click on Studio One here and open. And finally, you may see something slightly different if you bought your laser with included software, included Lightburn software, like for instance from Eon or from Ohmtech or from a manufacturer that rebrands Lightburn software. Instead of seeing under bundles here, import and export bundle, you may see import and export LB vendor. So instead of .lb zip, when you go to save the file, it will be named LB vendor. And that just has some links to their support and maybe a, a Lightburn library attached to get your machine up and running. Either way, this is a very, very simple process. And just keep something in mind is that you're not going to overwrite anything on your second computer uh, when you import one of these bundles. And Lightburn has set it up in a way where let's say that you've got an art library in your shop and you've got one in your home office, two separate ones, and they're not communicating with each other. And you've got more artwork in, let's say, the Christmas folder in your art library in your home office. Well, when you import the bundle from your shop, which has less um, graphics in it, it will not overwrite anything on your home office. It will create a new folder called Christmas with a number after it. And that will have the different files from the files from your office. So now you'll have Christmas and Christmas 1. So you don't have to worry about overwriting templates or overwriting art libraries or anything like that. Really great new feature. And if you haven't seen my disaster recovery uh, video, you should go see that. I'll put a link down in the description below. You should watch that one next because I go through file organization and how to keep from losing your files or losing your mind trying to find your files. <laughs> so I'll put a link to that video down below as well. I hope you enjoyed this new feature in Lightburn the way I've presented it and I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. As always, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next Urban one. In my hand, all fish on the fire. Rips and Louisiana hot the guy. Never tie, got my laser engraver. But making everything right. Calling my name day and night. Wooden signs and plaques. Personalized.